Welcome to my film retrospective for 2012, the year that the Earth was supposed to end and it didn't because people don't understand the Maya calendar. That was a weird thing that happened that no one really talks about anymore. Either way, this is a great year for film. My honorable mention list is so long that I had to write it down. Cabin in the Woods, The Grey, The Raid, Looper, Jingo Unchained, Seven Psychopaths, Paranorman, Ernest and Celestine, all incredible film that I really enjoy and just highly, highly recommend. Um, the one out of that that might stand out is Seven Psychopaths. Um, it should probably be my overlooked recommendation, but I do hear about this movie quite a bit actually because of its cast. Um, it's on that list primarily because this was the first year that I started doing movie reviews. In the latter half of 2012, I was a junior in high school. It was my first semester on my school magazine and my uh, school news website, and I did a lot of movie reviews almost weekly, and I am now a journalism master at the University of Missouri, so that's my kind of my path to writing about movies, which I still do now. I still do movie reviews, and I want to write about movies. And this kind of kickstarted that. Seven Second Pass was my first ever movie review. At the time, I actually didn't like it that much. I reviewed it again for my fifth anniversary as a film critic in 2017, and found that I actually quite liked the movie. It's really high quality. Highly recommend it. It's very special to me, though. My favorite bad movie from 2012 has got to be VHS. This is a film horror anthology. Every segment was shot, uh, at least it looks like it was shot on like old cassette VHS uh, camcorders, and it's all found footage, which I know a lot of people hate. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of this. So that's my favorite bad movie, because it's kind of intriguing and in how every person, every different director for every segment kind of approaches it. And the problem is, most low-budget horror movies have the approach of you don't really get to the horror until the last, like, third of your movie. And if you have that for every, like, ten-minute segment, you kind of have to go through that whole cycle again of, like, set up, bad acting, bad dialogue, they die. And it's kind of fascinating in its, in its uh, repetition there, and it's kind of fascinating how dip every director kind of approaches it. And though they're mostly bad, there are some good horror elements in it. And it, when it's bad, it's kind of funny and goofy. And if you're a horror fan, I definitely recommend it. My overlooked recommendation is actually Premium Rush. This I have as my overlooked recommendation because I think either you haven't heard of it or you probably think it's bad or you've seen reviews that say it's bad because this is a movie I think would be easy to misunderstand. It's very goofy and it's kind of kind of dumb. It's, it's On its surface, it seems dumb. I, I take it, though, as kind of a clever uh, homage slash parody of the 80s and 90s kind of extreme uh, sports movies. It's not really a single specific famous example I have in mind because I didn't really grow up in that time. There's just a lot of movies that were like snowboarding or skating or, uh, or just different I think, extreme sports that the same setup is always like this one over the top villain. And that's what this movie has. It's about bikers, bike messengers in New York that they're all obsessed with bikes and Jessica Gordon-Levitt is awesome as the lead star and Michael Shannon giving this goofy really over the top out of place performance as this evil uh, cop and I think the way he's defeated at the end of the film really keys into this movie is kind of a parody. He knows exactly what it is, and I like movies like that a lot because they're really fun and have a really good heart to them. And so I definitely recommend checking out if you're looking for something a little bit lighter, a little bit more fun that you haven't heard of before. And finally, my favorite movie of 2012 is, screw it, it's The Avengers. You know, it's a popular choice. It's not a particularly deep movie but I love it. It sparked off what we have now, 2019, highest grossing movie of all time, Avengers Endgame. Um, so many good Avengers films, so many good Marvel movies that really only exist because of the popularity of this film. And personally, I saw it in 3D IMAX when it came out, was so psyched for it. I was a geek then, I'm a geek now. It's not really amazing on a filmmaking perspective, but that's why I like it. I think because it's so different from other Hollywood films. It's so comic booky, and I like kind of like Joss Whedon's kind of television approach to it. It kind of matches the topic, and it just looks like a comic book film. And it doesn't work anywhere else. It doesn't work in Justice League. It doesn't work in Suicide Squad. It doesn't work uh, for all the other copycat movies. This one worked for some reason. The cast is excellent. I love the screenplay, and I love the third act. And I just like, and, and I, every time I rewatch it, I just am amazed by how much this movie works and, and flows well and the characters are great. And I continue to watch it to this day. It's certainly not the best movie that came out this year, but it's my personal favorite. 
you know, in, in 2012 is my first year away from my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, May 2012 is the end of that school year. Didn't have a lot of friends, but I went to this with my brother and my dad. We enjoyed the crap out of it, and it was a really good bonding experience for us. And um, it just it just was the, kind of the first time I realized that a super big popular movie could also be really good. And I just it was kind of cool to be at that point in history. I feel that it still holds up to this day, and I'll stand by it. You know, it it's a really fun movie. And um, you know that's all I've got for 2012. Let's move on to 2013. My favorite movie of 2012 has got to be, and I already forgot it, what the heck is it? Did I ever pick, I never picked the best. Oh my god. Oh no.